If your goal is to just build a huge upper back, huge amount of traps, and to condition your core or condition your posterior chain while standing upright only, then rack pulls above the knee is a great exercise to do. And any variation will work. Behind the back, Jefferson, uh, the normal conventional rack pull above the knee, and even a Zerker rack pull. They're all great exercises. They're great for overloading the core, the upper back, the traps. If your goal is to improve the deadlift off the floor, then you have to practice that variation as well. You cannot just focus on above the knee rack pulls because it will negatively affect your um, pulls from the floor if you don't practice them. Above the knee rack pulls are great for getting used to lifting heavier weights or to get the feel of what it's like to lift heavy weights. But you still have to practice the uh, exercises from the floor if you want to get good at those. Any uh, deadlifts from the floor, they will strengthen you overall. They are not the um, best for upper back or trap development. I'm not saying that you won't get huge upper back or traps. You will, but if you want to maximize the potential for upper back and traps, you have to maximize the amount of weight you lift from above the knee rack pulls. If you want to maximize your strength from lifting off the floor, then you have to do exercises related to lifting off the floor. Or you have to strengthen your uh, weak areas from those ranges of motion. If you cannot uh, lift weights off the floor, then it's generally a hamstring issue. If your conventional deadlift is much higher than a Romanian deadlift, then that means your quads are overly dominating your posterior chain. So that means your, your glutes, your hamstrings are weak. Your ability to hip hinge is weak.